What's up lords and ladies, welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my routine on how I am approaching um, this time around of BB being sick. As many of you guys know, if you guys watched my recent video, um, I posted that BB wasn't doing well and she, you know, went off food, she started losing weight and she got sick again. Now if you followed up on a video that I posted about a year ago, you know that this is in her first rodeo so um, I'm gonna take you guys along the journey and hopefully we could get her back to health and back to shape you know it's kind of a shock to me because she was doing so great she was doing perfectly fine she was eating on her own you know I've done countless videos of her and she's been doing great but it almost seemed like one day to the next she just got ill and didn't want to eat and started losing weight rapidly and you know whether it was a bacteria that kicked in or a parasite you know, I do have her on medication, thankfully. So, um, you know, hopefully through this, through these videos, some of you guys could learn a thing or two of what you guys need to do. Um, you know, don't take uh, your bearded dragon for granted because at the end of the day, they're living creatures. So if they do get sick, immediately jump onto it because from one day to the next, it could really go bad. So, um, you know, thankfully she is, doing great compared to what she was doing about a week ago. So I'm gonna take you guys through the routine and hopefully, you know, a week from now, we could see a big improvement of her. So with that being said, hopefully you guys are staying, you know, safe and positive. Thank you everyone who has uh, sent me messages, um, you know, regarding this topic because it is a touchy subject. I hate seeing my reptiles going through pain or going through something so, you know, it means a lot to me that you guys care just as much as I do. So, you know, just give this video a thumbs up. You know, each video that does well, it also helps me out because vet bills, they're not cheap. Taking care of these reptiles is not cheap. Uh, so everything that I make off of these YouTube videos goes towards them. So, you know, it means a lot if you guys hit that thumbs up like button. But with that being said, let's just get started with this video. Let's go. Okay, so there's a few things that we're gonna be doing today to help uh, BB in her recovery. The very first thing we're gonna do is I got this nice warm bath going on here and I'm just gonna add some of this electrolyte soak inside of here to help out um, with any loss vitamins that she may have. I know she's maybe not going to be drinking the water, but at least she could take a bath. Um, I did a review on this product right here, and it's really good when it comes to dehydrated animals, um, you know, dehydrated reptiles, as well as, um, you know, reptiles that may need a little bit of a boost when it comes to vitamins. It has a lot of vitamins, um, as you could tell. Let's see. You know, the ingredients, it has a lot of good vitamins. Um, you know, it has electrolytes. So it's really good to add this in your water um, when it comes to giving your reptiles a bath, especially if they're dehydrated. And BB is showing signs of uh, being dehydrated, so this is gonna help out a lot. Okay, BB, we're gonna give you a nice little bath. Now, she's doing a lot better this week. Um, I noticed a big increase um, in her being a little bit more active um, as well as if you saw in the last video she was drinking water on her own and she is still doing that right now so that right there is a good sign um, you know she's still not eating but today we're also going to syringe feed her um, some food but just the fact that she's doing that mouth motion and drinking water on her own you know it's a good sign and the electrolytes in this water is gonna help out a lot. So really happy that at least the electrolytes, <laughs> you know, I added that into the water. That way she's getting some vitamins. All the vitamins and all the nutrients she could possibly get at this point is gonna help out a lot. And you can already see just on her eyes, you know, they're not fully, you know, she doesn't have those sleepy eyes like she did before. So I'm not saying that she's, you know, 100% recovered, but compared to what she was, you know, in her worst state, um, she is doing a lot better. And I'm going to put a before and after, you know, uh, comparison in a future video. But right now, my main focus is just to get her back into shape, um, get her back into her health. 
you know, she has taken so far two doses of her medication. You know, her next dose is coming up and I am going to make it a little bit, you know, I'm going to give her a little bit more, but I just want to get water in her system as well as food in her system. You know, uh, the water is nice and warm. So, you know, if she has complications, you know, uh, with her bowel movements, the water staying nice and warm is going to help out a lot. So, you know, so far, so good. You know, she's been you know, a trooper because, you know, it's not easy when you get sick, man, I can only imagine. So BB, I'm really happy that at least, you know, you're, you're showing signs of improvement. Now I am going to leave her in here for about 10 minutes and, you know, just keep putting water on her body, some on her face. Um, I don't think she is really thirsty. Um, she did drink a little bit, but I'm gonna leave her in here for about 10 minutes. Now I am gonna be using this electrolyte soak, um, you know, each time I give her a bath and I'm gonna be doing so every other day and see how that works. It is recommended to use three times per week. Um, I might use a little bit more, but you know, these baths are just to add you know, that extra bit of boost, that extra little tiny bit that she might be missing. Um, I am gonna be showing you guys what I'm basically currently giving her um, to help her bounce back. Um, I don't wanna, you know, shock her body with too much um, things, but I do want her to, you know, recover a lot faster. And we did this once already, and I'm really hoping that this time around will be the last time because it's not a fun process when a bearded dragon gets ill or, you know, stops eating. And, you know, even though she looks good, she looks fine, trust me, she has lost a lot of weight. You could see her bones at the back here. Her tail is not as fat as it should be. And you could even see in her arms, you know, there's some, this, like, it's just, She's losing a lot of weight really, really fast is what I'm trying to say. So, you know, hopefully, you know, we could get her back eating. But for now, you know, I'm just gonna let her soak in this water and hopefully this helps. All right, so while BB is inside of the bath, I'm gonna go ahead and basically disinfect her enclosure. Now, the disinfectant that I'm currently using, um, I have different ones, but this is the one that I'm gonna be using as it's a lot more stronger. It's a concentrated form. Um, it's really good at, you know, disinfecting surfaces. You don't wanna use it too frequently. I do also have chloric hexadine, which I use a lot more frequently with my uh, reptiles. I find it a little bit, you know, more safer. Um, but this one right here, you know, I can already smell it. It's really, really strong. So you wanna make sure if you are gonna use it, that you disinfect everything and you also dilute it with water as well. But you also, um, you know, clean the surface really, really well before you put your bearded dragon or your other reptiles in there as well. So, um, you know, that's really good practice, especially, you know, if you wanna kill any parasite or any bacteria that you may think your reptiles, you know, might have. You know, even if you got your reptile years ago, they can still get bacteria, you know, from different um, ways. So you definitely wanna make sure you're always you know playing it safe and disinfecting your surfaces you know it's almost like you know they like nowadays where they make you you know wash your hands you know uh before entering a store i don't, I don't know why we weren't doing that before but that's what we're gonna be doing so i'm just gonna go in there you know just clean it off clean off the surface and then i'm gonna go in there and do it again so um yeah it's just safe practice so BB right now is in the bath while I'm basically cleaning out her enclosure. Yeah. So while her enclosure is now completely clean and disinfected and she is basically done her bath, what I'm gonna be doing now is basically feeding her some Repashi grub pie that I made very, very runny. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to this, but I made it really runny as well as I'm gonna be giving her some multivitamins. So how I'm gonna be doing this is everything's gonna be done by a syringe. Now this isn't the recommended syringe to basically give such a beard, big bearded dragon um, food in, 
Um, I did order some uh, feeding syringes, so that is coming along, but I definitely have to wait until those come or I'll go pick one up at the pet shop. But right now what we're gonna be doing is giving BB some food as well as some multivitamins. Now I recommend if you are gonna be doing this to do this, maybe in your sink or somewhere where you could clean it because it does get messy. So with that being said, let's just get on with the feeding. Let's go. All right, BB, I know this isn't your favorite part, but what we're gonna do is I have some of the multivitamins that I'm gonna syringe feed her. Some of it, um, come on, BB, I know, girl. But this is gonna really help her restore any lost vitamins because she's not eating any veggies or anything else. So it does help to have on hand some multivitamin. Um, that way, when you are, you know, experiencing a bearded dragon that is sick, they could always, you know, it helps them with their recovery. Any vitamin that they basically could get at this point because she's not eating is good. Now I did give her a little bit less than the recommended dose because you do have to give them compared to their weight size. So I don't wanna shock her body completely. You know, she's already going through st stress with the medication and everything else. So did give her a little bit less, but it's still better than nothing. So BB, okay, you're doing such a good job. Now up next we have the Rapashi grub pie that I'm gonna give her. Now, you do want to make it somewhat runny, that way it goes into your syringe, especially if your syringe is this small. Um, hopefully, you know, Amazon ships my feeding syringes a lot faster, but this is what I'm going to be using. So you can see we have a full syringe of some Rapashi Grub Pie uh, mixture, but you also want to make sure it's nice and runny, that way she could eat it. Um, some bearded dragons, depending on how sick they are, you know, they might not even be able to eat any solid foods. So um, this is a great way that you could get some food into their system. So same way, but this time around you gotta be gentle. It's okay, BB. Little by little. You don't wanna go in there and jam things because, you know, she's already a little bit stressed out. It's okay, girl, it's okay. And they're definitely not used to eating this kind of way, so um, you know, you don't want to force them to be eating um, way too fast. You want to go at their pace, let her digest food, maybe massage her chin, and also see their stress level too. So you notice her beard is turning a little bit black, but it's not jet black. If she was turning jet black, then it might not be great. If she was also, you know, gasping for air um, or coughing, that might not be great as well because you know, you're basically forcing food and it's maybe not even going into, you know, down their throat. It's actually, you know, they're inhaling it or something. So you want to make sure that you're playing it safe and you're watching your dragon and taking it, you know, at their pace. Come on. It's okay, girl. Okay, there we go. So that right there is a good amount of Rapashi grub pie that I got to basically get inside of her without too much struggle. So I'm gonna go ahead and basically give her a lot more, but um, you know, I'm really you know happy that she at least is you know accepting the food. Now, even after you give them in the syringe, um, one thing that I've noticed is that you do wanna leave them alone because there is that chance that they might regurgitate and vomit it out because you know it's something that they're not either used to or you know they're sick and they just don't want to eat so they'll spit it out and that right there is you know not good because a bearded dragon when you know or any reptile when they vomit all that you know stomach acid all of that now it's introduced into other areas where it shouldn't be and you know they're already weak as is so you know having that on top of their illness can also be really bad for your reptile. So you wanna make sure that you're going slow at a nice pace, that way they don't regurgitate food. And also always introduce them, you know, crickets and everything that they would normally eat first to see if they're even interested and then try to syringe feed them if, they, if you see that they're not eating. But your goal with the syringe feeding is to basically keep their energy level at a good level 
um, that way they don't lose weight too much but at the same time you also want to make sure that they are you know getting back to weight that way they could eat solid foods on their own but BB so far is doing great she drank a little bit of water she has some multivitamins and now I'm gonna be giving her some of this Rapashi grub pie in a syringe okay BB this is the second syringe okay it's okay see now she's a little bit more understanding and she's not moving so much she's eating a lot more Come on, it's okay girl now trust me <laughs> you know it's been quite a journey with her but at the same time I've noticed a big increase in energy from one week to the next so whatever I'm doing is you know helping out a lot more hopefully I could continue and she actually bounces back and eats on her own but for now I'm gonna have to do it this way sorry girl I know I know you don't like it I know it's okay come on open there you go boom how was that now BB she feels a lot more calm inside of the sink and inside of the bath that way that's why I'm doing it here you know she doesn't freak out when she touches water but if your bearded dragon freaks out in the water make sure you're doing it where they feel safe and they don't feel so much stressed out I like doing it inside of the sink because I could later you know I could wash the syringe I could you know wash her if she has food on her face or anything like that but at the same time um, you know BB is used to taking baths and she doesn't freak out if your bearded dragon freaks out make sure you're you know doing it in a place where they feel safe now I've given her a couple syringes um, of food already now the one thing that you also have to take into account is that because you're putting more water into the rapashi grub pie to make it a little bit more of a liquid form um, you know that's a lot more liquid and fluid that your bearded dragon might not be used to so you do want to take it easy maybe separate the meals throughout the day so you know early in the morning then later in the afternoon go in there again you don't want to jam them with too much food and liquid because you know it's just like us if we drank a lot of water you know we might get full but you know we might also puke because you know our body just can't take that much water so um, you know just putting it out there you know if you are gonna be doing this make sure you're taking it slow going at their pace understanding certain behaviors that your bearded dragon might be doing BB could right now take you know the amount of you know feeding that I'm giving her in this sitting but I know that um, you know she's almost reaching her limit so this is gonna be the last syringe that I'm gonna give her I think I've given her already a little bit more than what I should so I don't want to overdo it and I am gonna give her more throughout the day yeah see like right there she's like yeah that that movement right there where she like kind of like pushed out the syringe is basically a movement of them trying to get the food out um, you know I don't know if you guys experience feeding a bearded dragon a larger meal um, you know if they don't want to digest it or eat it they'll basically try to spit it out so she kind of did that movement I'm gonna see if I could give her a little bit more if not I'm gonna back off so just to finish the syringe yeah okay yeah she doesn't want any more so I'm not gonna overdo it so massage her chin it's okay girl you're gonna be okay so so far so good um, for this sitting I'm gonna finish feeding her um, you know I'm not gonna push her limits but so far I would say that this was a successful kind of day um, you know she drank a little bit of that uh, electrolyte soak she also you know took her vitamins really well as well as it seems like the medication is working because her appetite was on point today as well so Hopefully you guys learn a thing or two from this video. You know, I'm definitely gonna keep you guys update. Keep BB in your prayers. Thank you so much everyone who commented in the last video. Um, you know, wishing her well, it means a lot. BB here is really my everything. 
um, when it comes to just everything that I do. You know, it started off with me just providing for her is why I basically even started these videos. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoy everything that you know I'm posting. Definitely going to be posting more. So subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm Lord Alliance. Keep the blood pumping and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.